Hello everyone. Let's find that the area of R is equal to 2 plus cosine theta. To find the area of this, usually when we have, for instance, okay, we have y is equal to x squared, okay? When it tells us to find the area of this, which if we draw it first, we have this. We need the interval from, it doesn't matter, okay, x, y coordinate. Wait, no, x1 and x2, okay? But the thing about the polar equation graphs, they always end up like this, okay? That always connect or like a circle in a different places. So to solve the area of this, let's graph. To graph this first, I like to actually graph this where it is in terms of y is equal to two plus cosine x, okay? Because when I do this and I graph it, and here is 2 pi, here is pi, and here is pi over 2, and here is 3 pi over 2. I'll tell you guys later, but let's graph this first. Okay, so normal cosine x would look like this, but there's a plus 2. So the graph itself moves up 1 and 2. So normally this is our base, but 1 and 2, this is our new base. So we would still have the radius of 1 to here and here. So, yeah, when x is equal to 0, we have here and here. I will not say anything because, yeah. And we, we have a graph of this. And we connect the dots. Okay, we connect the dots and we have this. And another thing I like to draw is the actual graph that we will solve in, okay? And since there are three different kind of radius, which is three, two, one, I will draw three rings for radius three, two, one. Okay, so I'm running out of colors. So let's draw the big, wait, actually, let's start off with a smaller circle first. This is radius 1. Okay. Yeah, that's the radius 1. And let's draw the radius 2. So the radius is 2. Oh, so perfect. Okay. And now we have a circle that's radius 3 now. Okay. I'm not the best circle, but it is very acceptable in my opinion. Okay. And now, this is when we get our answer, okay? So, from when x is equal to 0, right? When x is equal to 0, which is 0 to pi over 2. So, line this to this. We start from 0 of 3, okay? 0 of 3. We start from here which is when x is equal to zero, or theta is equal to zero. Okay, look, putting it that way is way simpler. And now when theta is equal to pi over two, it moves from three to two, okay, which is pi over two of two. So from this line, I mean this dot, it goes to this dot. So let's trace it. Oh, okay. I will use another color and all the markers are on the floor. I don't know why. All right, now it's from pi over two to pi. And when it's pi over two, the radius is two. So yeah, that's exactly where we left it off. So from this point, we go to pi point, which at the pi point, it is radius one. So, so the point from here, it goes to here. Like this, okay? And now from pi, of 1, it goes to theta is equal to 3 pi over 2 of 2. So from here, we go to here. Okay. And now from theta is equal to 3 pi over 2, 
which starts from 2, which is here, it goes to it is equal to 2 pi of 3. So we meet up here. Okay, so we have a dumpling, sideway dumpling. It looks like that. And we will solve this whole thing's area. Okay, how do we do that? Well, of course, from David, you can know by drawing a, a circle, okay? It does not matter, but of course, we start from the origin, okay? No, not a circle, a triangle. Okay, let's draw a triangle, a triangle. So, like this, okay? Like this. And this, I will have another model here, where this curve, it's a curve, right? But we will shrink it as like tiniest triangle you can imagine, okay? So we can approximate the curve as just a straight line. Okay, so let's actually shrink this like this much and the curve will more and more will likely to become a straight line. Okay, it will be more approximated. Okay, so a triangle that looks like this, barely any, and we do it like a million more times, but since we can't see it, we zoom in and we get this. Okay, so now we can finally call this a straight line. And, okay, when the angle is a theta and the bottom length is radius, of course, the length of this is equal to pi times r because, no, not pi, theta times r because they are proportional to another. That means when the theta becomes 2 theta, okay, like this, right? If it becomes 2 theta, the length multiplies by 2 because I multiplied by 2 on the theta. And if I multiply 2 on the radius, it'll become more bigger. I also multiplied by 2 again. So yeah, they're proportional to another. So that's why the length is equal to um, theta times pi. I mean r. Okay. So, and now let's find the area of this triangle. How do we do that? That's just base times height times 1 over 2, okay? So that's basically just theta times r squared over 2, which is correct. But this many triangles, we'll have infinitely many amount of them. We can only say that when we set the integral from 2 pi to 0. Because from 2 pi to 0, that's a full revolution of infinitely many amount of small triangles area, right? This is what, what it is. But we need to, well, before we had this, we had to differentiate the theta, so we get d theta, okay? Because the even the integral of the interval is by theta, right? Uh, theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to 2 pi, and d theta. Because it's like others, okay? Like... This, for example, it's dx of the integral of the interval. So, yes. so now we solve for this, basically. But it has to be in terms of theta, which you can have that by because because it says that r is equal to two plus cosine theta. Okay. So now we have a our legit equation that we solve for, which is where well. 1 over 2 can come in front because that's the coefficient. And the r is actually that, 2 plus cosine theta, which is 2 plus cosine theta squared d theta. Okay. And now I will factor the... I don't know if that's called factor. I haven't done algebra in a long time. I'll just call it factor, okay? The square is just gone, okay? And this will become even bigger. So if I do that, I get 4 plus 4 times cosine theta plus cosine squared theta d theta. Wow, we're running out of room. Okay, well, anyway. So now let's find the integral of this whole thing. Okay, it looks hard and it, it probably requires a lot of time. But actually, no, because if you learn from me, it'll be real quick. Okay, 
So the integral of 4 is 4 theta. And from 4 theta, we put in the 2 pi and the 0. Putting 0 is not going to do anything. But putting 2 pi in there, we get 8 pi. Okay, let's put that somewhere else. This is our answer. 8 pi plus what? I don't know. Let's, well, we are done with 4. So now we have 4 times cosine theta. Okay. I want to show you guys something that I probably did from like other videos. But if we have a graph of cosine, this is 2 theta theta, theta over 2, 3, wait, no, not theta, pi, oops, okay, and I graph it, it looks like this, okay, and it says the area of cosine theta, we will worry about for later, from 0 to 2 theta, okay, so actually cutting this like this, this area is the same thing as this, this area is the same thing as this, so it'll become 0, okay, so from the integral from 2 theta to 0 of 4 times cosine theta, we know that from integral of 2 pi of 0, no, no, 0 to 2 pi of cosine theta is 0, but 0 times 4 is 0, so that's just plus 0. And a plus, now it is cosine squared theta, okay? Let's do the, inter the area of cosine squared theta from 0 to 2 pi. Let's draw the graph of cosine squared theta um, up here, okay? So this is 2 pi, this is pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and this is 1, this is negative 1, okay? When we draw this, the actual cosine theta, right, looks like this, okay? But now there's a square, everything is positive, so it, it is like, it, the negative side went up to the positive side, but it actually bends, okay, like a curve differently, okay? So when actually graphing it, we get something that looks like this, okay? I have not done a great job of graphing this, okay? But, but, if we have a box, right, and the area of that box is, well, that's just 1 times 2, th 2 pi, so the area of is 2 pi, but if we cut it in 3, I mean 4 parts, right, you guys notice, well, you guys can't see it because I haven't graphed it well, but if you, if you guys do, actually graph it perfectly, this curved line will actually separate this tiny block into half, okay? It makes sense, kind of, okay? So if that's an area of z, this is z2. And what do we just know? That the area of this small block is pi over 2, okay? But the actual graph itself is this. And this one line separates the block into half. So the area of this shaded portion is pi over 4. But guess what? There is 4 of this. So we multiply by 4 and get the value of pi. Okay? So now we have 8 pi plus 0 plus pi and divided by 2 from the coefficient we got. So that is 9 pi over 2. So this is the answer and I want you guys to do that on your own. Okay, great. We just have found the area of r is equal to 2 plus cosine theta. This whole thing is equal to 9 power of 2. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.